In this video, I'm going to walk through how I stage changes and create commits all without leaving Vim. And I'm able to do this with a plugin called Vim Fugitive. This was created by Tim Pope, and it's a plugin that allows you to do just about anything you want to do with Git from within Vim. So the way I work with this is uh, assuming I'm already got a Vim session open like this and I've made some changes, I can run GE command like that from the command prompt area down here. I can hit enter, and that opens me up into what looks a lot like a git status if I were to just run git status from the terminal. I can see um, the current branch I'm on, um, what, the, what the remote is, um, I can see if there's some help, and then I'll see a listing of untracked files, unstaged files, and eventually I'll see uh, tracked files or, or staged files as well. So I've just added this file here under the Rails directory, and um, because it's untracked, I just want to add it wholesale. So I'll use the dash command to stage it. And now we can see it's been moved down to the staged area. And then for the readme, um, I'd like to do a git add patch so that I can pick and choose which of the changes to the readme I want to stage. So I'll hit shift P while my cursor is over this, and it opens up uh, a split down here that has um, all the changes one by one, and I can go through just like I would with a git add patch, picking and choosing what I want to add. So I don't want this first part, it's just a new line change, but I do want to add this incremented number here. So I'm going to um, say split, and so then this first part I say no, I don't want that, and then for the second part I hit Y for yes, so I'll stage that. Um, here, no, it looks like I've just changed some casing here, that's not a part of this commit that I'm trying to make. So I'm going to dismiss that as well with a no. And then this is now the new file entry that I've added. So I'm going to say yes here. Now it's okay if you didn't uh, follow along with the specific things that I chose to um, include and not include in this. Um, you'll know for your particular use case um, as you're staging a commit which things you do and don't want. But this is just kind of an example of that. So now all the changes that were in this file have now been either um, included or excluded. And so it says process exited zero. I'm gonna hit enter to now uh, kind of close this, the git add patch that happened with this file. And now we can see that this readme is under staged with the changes that I marked for staging. And it's also still under unstaged because there are some changes I chose not to stage. Now from here, I'm ready to go in terms of creating my commit. And so I'm going to do uh, particular command I like to do, which is CVC, and it's to create a commit, um, which you can do with CC as well. But I, what I like about CVC is it includes the dash V flag, and that is the verbose mode of creating a commit, and it will include all of the uh, diff changes in the, the body of the commit editor area. So just if I need to reference any of those, I can. So let me just show you what that looks like. I'll hit CVC and it opens up a git commit prompt like you've probably seen plenty of times. And the verbose part is if I scroll down here, I can actually see the, the diff changes that are a part of this commit. And I sort of like that if I ever need to reference what I changed real quick, I can just scroll down. I don't need to leave this context. Um, but yeah, then I'll just go ahead and create my commit message, which So that's my message. And then um, to, I guess, wrap this up then, I'll just save and quit. And that drops me. So this created the commit now, and then it's dropped me back in this sort of status staging area. And uh, from here, I don't have anything else I want to stage. So I'll just hit Q to uh, leave that. And now I'm back into the file that I had originally been in. And then as actually, if I jump back to GE, we can see that it's now listing any unpushed commits that are available. And so I can do git uh, push to push those up. And it'll take a second to run. And then we'll see that right there disappeared because uh, there are no longer any unpushed commits because that is now in sync with the remote. So I hit Q again to leave here. Um, and that's my workflow. Uh, I love using Vim Fugitive for 
doing all sorts of Git related things. Uh, certainly there's things like Git log as well, which is nice to be able to view the log. There's pretty much full support for Git. So check out uh, Git Vim Fugitive. Um, consider installing it as part of your whole Vim setup. Yeah, and that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.